<laughs> it's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. Come on. So hot, so hot, oh, it's on me. Laura's singing from everybody's diaphragm, not just <laughs> Not just hers. Laura's thing from everybody's time. You get it, Laura. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it. <laughs> you know, they actually they actually sounded kind of good for a sliver. You know, for a sliver of a second. They actually sounded kind of good. <laughs> See? Freeze. Oh, oh. Is this my game? <laughs> See, so if silly. you break mom's china, she'll kill you and I'll have to mop up the blood. Mm. <laughs> Don't be silly. Now let me help. What can I do? No, thank you, Mr. Clumsy. The best <laughs> way you can help is by getting out of here immediately. She, uh, she called him Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> Mr. Clum Sir Clumsy. Uh -huh. Have you know, Mr. Clumsy was the old Steve Urkel. Right, right. The new Steve Urkel is Mr. Graceful. Mr. Graceful, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I love that he's he's loving his, his new self. Like, I love that, you know. He is improving himself for himself, and he's enjoying himself. You feel me? Hey, Steve. Mm. Mushy, mushy. <laughs> mushy, mushy. So, how's the world of a chef trainee? Oh, Yoshi's teaching me a lot. Mm. But in my spare time, I'm practicing. So I say, guys, and bobbin and chop. Bobbin and chop. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Oh gosh! <laughs> what, what happened, Steve? Oh gosh! It must be the utensils again. They got out of control. Oh gosh! <laughs> Steve, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Yeah. The MSG makes the blood clot faster. Yeah. Hey, Lord, he's fine. He just stabbed himself twenty times. No big deal. He's all right. Steve, I don't get it. Why the sudden interest in Japanese cooking? It's mm. all part of my journey down the road of self-improvement. Mm. It looks like you got mugged at a rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, come, Lord, come up with the jokes. I told you. She on her Mardi Ma. She on her Mardi Ma. But I love, like, do you see with Steve just how excited he is? Like, you know what I'm saying? He has this new energy. He's becoming this new person. You know, he's discovering new things about himself and it's exciting to him, which it should be, you know, when you go and you're, you want to be your, you know, better and your best self. And you can tell that with Steve. I love it. And Laura's cracking on him, of course. But the way I see it, this training will help me eliminate my clumsiness by teaching me focus, coordination, and dexterity. Steve, Steve. <laughs> Missed everything, buddy. Missed everything. Oh, here comes Laura and Maxine. Well, what are you two doing here? Oh. I thought you weren't coming into my cooking debut. Mm. Well, we just dropped by to say hi and bring you a little gift. Wowza, baby! Oh. <laughs> for the customers, for when you accidentally stab them. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 wait a minute, though, y'all. Look at all Laura's looking at Max. <laughs> like, look, I can crack on them. You can't crack on them at this point, Maxie. Stop it. <laughs> uh. Uh, 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 I have lots of work to do. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, shoo, shoo, shoo. Who are these pretty young ladies? Oh, mm -hmm. well, Mr. Tanaka, this is my very special friend, Marley mm -hmm. Winslow. Aww. <laughs> look at him. Look. Steve is going to look into Laura's eyes, boy. Their, uh, their eye contact is crazy. Ugh. And I'm Max. Mm -hmm. It would be truly an honor if you would stay and have dinner. Well, I really don't. It's on the house. Where do I sit? <laughs> Where do I sit? Do you know lobster? <laughs> Wait a minute, I am loving Lord's jacket. Lord, can I have your jacket? Can I get it? Can I just get it? When you're done, can I get it? I like it. Ladies, tonight your dinner will be prepared by our newest... Master Chef. Ooh, wow. Who? You, my friend. Uh oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. Uh huh. Oh, thank you, Lara. Girl, this is great. Do you know Anna's show? What show? Mm -hmm. Watching Steve work. <laughs> Don't you remember when he worked in the car wash and he got his foot stuck in the truck? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. 
You was washed and waxed five times before the guy came out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He was washed and waxed. <laughs> oh, look, 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 look. See, look, this is showing his journey. He's come a long way. It is only fitting that you make your cooking debut in front of the woman your heart has chosen. Ah. How'd you know it was Laura? Oh, your eyes told the whole story. Mm -hmm. You looked at her exactly the same way I looked at my wife the first time I saw her. This peep game with that, this, that was so powerful what he just said, right? He's comparing Steve looking at Laura to when he looked at his wife for the first time. For the first time. That, that's the key right there. For the first time. Think about it. Steve and Laura have been around each other since they were six years old. You know what I'm saying? Been, live under the same roof. And he's comparing what, how Steve is looking at Laura. So when he looked at his wife for the first time. So it's so basically saying Steve is looking at Laura like, n number one, like a wife. But number two, like he's seeing her for the first time. That's how strong their connection is. I love it. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Tanaka, I, I've loved Laura Winslow ever since kindergarten, but she's never paid me any attention. Mm. It's only now that... She started to have feelings for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then you will impress her by showing her all that you have learned. So loving, loving, loving Steve's, you know, energy. I told you, he is a full new vibe, huh? Because he's a new vibe. And I, like I said before, I just love how he, he is loving his new self. You know, he's discovering um, new things about himself and like the world looks different to him, you know, because he's em embracing this. And what I love the most, I think is like I said before, is that he is doing this for him. He is not doing this for anybody else. Kind of reminded me of, you know, the, the late great RIP to the late great Kobe, when he talks about the mama mentality. And, you know, we, we always think that the mama mentality is like, you know, him not giving up in a game and, you know, um, willing to take the game winning shot. And it's some of that, but how Kobe described it really simply is the mama mentality is, is this every day trying to be the best version of yourself, you know, trying to outdo your own self, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, trying to be your best you. And that's why I, I love that, you know, um, coming from Kobe and you're starting to see that with Steve, you know, where he is, you know, sometimes when you go and change because other people want you to change, you, you, you drag your feet, you know, you don't, you don't like the new person. Steve completely loves a new person that he's, um, that he's changing into. And it's, and you know, that's how we should all feel. You know, uh, like I said, we should all be, that's why I love the mama mentality every day. You know, uh, who I think Jonathan Reynolds has a song, I think it's called better. And in that song, he's just saying, man, try to be better than you were the day before. You know, just try to be better than that. You know, you don't have to be great. You don't have to be this or that. Just try to be better than you were the day before, you know, and then try to be better that next, the next day and then the next day and the next day, you know. And so I just, I just love the, the discovery and really, you know, let, let me get on my Christian tip for a second. But really, what it really reminds me, reminds me of is like when you first come to Christ, you know, like uh, the Bible says that therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. And the old has gone, right? The old has gone. And it, it just reminds you that anybody that has come into Christ, you know, you know that your old self is, is, is gone and you are a new person. You see things through a different light. You feel differently about things. You have a new zeal for life. And that's what you see him. That is the greatest change of all. It's like when you do it for yourself. Love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.